Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist, coming to you from Acupuncture and Herbal Therapies. Today we will be discussing acupressure for migraines. Now if you've ever experienced a migraine, you're well aware that they can be debilitating. Some people experience them once or twice a year, but some unfortunate patients experience them monthly or even weekly. Oftentimes, these types of migraines are hormonally related and are an easy cure with a simple set of herbs and some acupuncture treatments. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to seek out an acupuncture physician and herbalist who can help you fight the fight against migraines. So if you're experiencing a migraine and you don't have the opportunity to go to an acupuncture physician, I'm going to show you some simple pressure points you can do on yourself to help alleviate some of the pain. One of the points is known as gallbladder 20. It's here at the nape of the neck. It's very stimulating and also has uh, the ability to help the eyes, which are often involved with a migraine with photosensitivity. So if you come to the middle of the occiput, which is that little bump at the base of your neck here, you'll find a divot on either side, and that's bladder 10. But if we run our fingers laterally over the hump of the muscle, there's another divot, and this is called gallbladder 20. This is the point we're gonna use, and we're gonna use firm pulsating pressure with our fingers or even our thumbs. So if you're doing this on yourself, it's quite easy to use your thumb and actually lean your head up against your thumb to create some of the pressure. And you'll wanna do this as often as necessary to relieve some of the pressure that builds up behind the eyes. Another great point is known as Taiyang, and that's on the temples, on the side of the head. So most people know where your temples are, the little divot just inside of the top of the ear. And because it's on the face, we don't want to press quite as hard as we are with gallbladder 20. So I'm using just a circular motion with my fingers to try and relieve the tension build up here on the sides of the head. And last but certainly not least is LI4, the command point to the head that moves chi throughout the entire body. It's located between the first and second metacarpal bones of the hand at the high point of the muscle just after the crease. Now this one takes firm pressure using the thumb and the finger on the other side of the hand. This is a great one to do, say, if you're caught at work or school with the beginnings of a migraine to try and head it off. Again, there can be so many different causes leading to chronic migraines, so it's important to understand where yours is coming from in order to have an effective acupressure points to fight it off. So I encourage you to seek out a qualified practitioner at AccuFinder.com. I'm Hilary Talbot, and that was Acupressure for Migraines.